Hey problem solvers, just a quick one today to remind you to check your solutions after you solve an equation. There are some equations where you might have to square something, uh, you know, as you're solving it, and that actually adds solutions. So let's go ahead and solve this equation here, and I'll explain a bit more what I mean. So probably the most straightforward way to solve this is firstly to get that plus 4 over to the left hand side. So we're going to have the square root of 2x equal to x take 4 and then square both sides. So this, to get that, rid of that square root, we want to square both sides. So the square root of 2x squared is just 2x. And then on the right hand side, we have x take 4 squared. So we've got 2x equal to x take 4 squared. Then we want to expand those brackets. So we're going to have 2x equal to uh, x squared take 8x plus 16 and then subtract that 2x from the right hand side and then we're going to end up with x squared take 10x take uh, plus 16 equals 0. We can factorize this factors of 16 that sum to negative 10 are negative 8 and negative 2. So we get x take 8 multiplied by x take 2 equal to 0. Expanding this out we would get that quadratic. And so this process has given us solutions for x of x equal to 8 or x equal to 2. And this is where we need to do the checking because if we check with our original equation up here, one of these solutions is not valid. So let's say if x equals 8, let's plug that in, we get on the left hand side obviously x is just equal to 8. On the right hand side, we get 4 plus the square root of 2 times 8. This is equal to 4 plus the square root of 16, which is equal to 8. So this is a valid solution. Let's check if x equals 2. What do we get on the right hand side? We get 4 plus the square root of 2 times 2, which is equal to 4 plus the square root of 4 which is 6, 4 plus 2. This is not a valid solution. 2 does not equal 6. So what's happened here? Well, when we square this equation in this line, we end up with a new solution. So let me erase this working out we did. Notice that in this equation, on this line, uh, 2 is not a valid solution because we get 2 take 4 here which is negative 2. This is not going to give us a real solution. We can't have a square root equal to a negative number. But here on the next line, we get in the brackets, we get 2 take 4 squared, which then becomes negative 2 squared, which then becomes positive 4. So we add a valid solution there when we square both sides because we get rid of that negative. So always remember to check your solutions, especially when you're working with square roots and exponents where you might be doing funny things with squaring both sides or you know doing something with even number exponents that often you'll be adding solutions that were not valid solutions to the original equation. So just a quick reminder there, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all uh, doing well with the studies and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.